and welcome to the Albert and Billy show here on WUAT radio and channel 18 Valley TV and YouTube <laughs> the thing that Papa never uses but always reminds me to announce that he's never used it <laughs> don't know how <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> man we got coach Tabor in the house he's like the unsung hero of the county uh, this well, year I certainly don't know about that but I am happy to be here for sure well, we're glad to have you. Uh, God, you got to tell us about this record-breaking season, seems like. How long has it been since we've been this good? Well, I've had a lot of people ask me those I questions, bet. but I don't know uh, the answers for sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, I do know we're 7-0 and uh, have <laughs> a chance a, to be 8-0 tonight. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm, the, I'm the fortunate one because I've got a really good group of kids right now. You do. And I've yeah. got a good group of assistant coaches, and it's just gelling. How many, is is How many are seniors? How many are seniors? We've got actually we've got uh, eleven seniors uh, out of forty-two. Ooh. So we've got a oh, we're, go. we're pretty equal, you know, all the way through. You, you know, at a school like ours, typically you want to have about ten or eleven in each grade. Yeah, uh, that way. Because last year we lost some good seniors as well. So you right. you don't want to have to rebuild if you can reload. No, no. And that's hopefully what we're building to. Well, you've got key players that's on smart. defense and offense, and you would like. For for some of those to be in your younger classes. Oh yeah, well, and we well, do. We, do we, we, we play. A, we play a lot of. We actually play some freshmen in different mm -hmm. spots right now. We've got several sophomores that play. A couple yeah. that play a lot, and then several juniors too. So we've got. I know. We got some kids coming back that we feel good about, and obviously I think so. we have to develop some too. Got, hey, they've got a great underclassman. I think. I think you guys are going to repeat this season next year you have a great chance to do that yeah well we talk about that a lot you know yeah. we don't want to be a one-hit wonder we, no. we, we, we want to have a program and we want That's to right. be competitive every year but the kids have done they've done a, a really good job on the buy-in you know last yeah. year was my first year and and uh, first couple of months now there was some uh you know there was some <laughs> some some disagreements occasionally bet, on what uh, we should yeah, do and not yeah. do and we had some bumps in the road but the kid the kids work they they work hard if, uh, the only way you're going to win is team wise and if you can True. get kids to buy in and commit themselves to be part of that team then the whole thing is to roll in instead of one standing out here and there well we talk mm -hmm. about that a lot and I'm and, sure and we do a lot of good things uh with our players, uh, when I say that, we try to build character. Number one, I and like that. and and our our one of our and we you know we don't really have a one two three four five it, you know character can be a mm -hmm. lot of different things, but but teamwork is about being unselfish. That's and, right. Uh, you know we don't worry about stats. You know, and I know yeah. they do. I know the running backs keep up and the oh, DBs course, keep yeah. up with interceptions. Competitiveness. Yeah, but we yeah. don't make it a big priority. Uh, you know, we, cool. we, we want to be unselfish in a lot of ways. We had one of our players, and as one of those sophomore players, name yeah. actually Hunter Clark. He, about the fourth game of the season, he came back after that game and was telling me, you know, he was watching film and his mother was talking to him and said, Hunter, you need to make some more tackles. I'd like to see you make more <laughs> tackles. It don't look like you're trying to sometimes. And right. he, said, he said, Mom, I'll be honest with you. He said, my job, when the mm. ball comes my way, a lot of times – is to force and squeeze the play so the linebackers can make wow. the tackle or the safeties. He said, I'm just trying to do my job. So That's if impressive. we can get each player to do their job, it'll oh, make us a lot good. better. So, you know how hard it is you know, to get like a, kids like that age like to do that? that can run so well. Yeah. You know, we were able to hem those guys up. That Jeremiah Sawyer they have, he's mm -hmm. been offered by, I think, MTSU and Tennessee State. Austin P was looking at him. We were really, really worried because he wasn't yeah. the only one that could run. But as a team, we were able to umbrella that and, uh, wow. and, and come up and force plays. And he, he was and that's a, a, a first. big part of that. That was a huge win. That yeah. was a huge win. It, it, was a, it was a nice one. Our kids, you know, that gave them some confidence too yes. to, to keep going throughout the year. So we, we were excited about that. And you're yeah. going to hear a lot of people say, Tyner may be down. Well, they may be. Every, uh, every yeah. team has a little bit of a down yeah. year. But they still They're have still a very timer. talented team. You exactly. dang right. They're so, still time. They've got the personnel. They do. Yeah. They got the personnel. And if you if you defeated a good team, take yes. credit for it. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's yeah. a program 
change in victory there. I don't know if we've ever beat them before. No. If we have, it's been a very, very long time. No. Right. There's conflicting stories there, I think, maybe I, in the I 20s. Know. And then, I know. then somebody else said no. So, but, but either way, it's you know, I, I don't remember us. that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> you got to think back. <laughs> That's hey, pretty. Hey. And then you got the win of at Jasper. You went down to Jasper and you beat uh, Marion County, who's also a traditional powerhouse in the state. That's a big victory. Yeah, and that's an intimidating place to play. Yeah, I mean, huh? they've got the you know they've got that brag board. It's kind of what coaches uh, nickname those boards up there. I think they've been to eleven state championships oh, and they've won yeah. maybe five. Yeah, they've, uh, they've maybe won a it lot. was two thousand fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. They went back to back to back. They did. And, yeah, uh, and I'll tell you. Uh, Honestly, if we went from the roster top to bottom, mm -hmm. they probably had more. I'm not saying anything bad about our kids, right. but from top to bottom, they probably had a better roster than us. Prop and they had about 70 players, and uh, I was really, so, really pleased. Yeah, right. I think it was 69 on the roster. Dang. I think, uh, and it might That's, have been 70. Them and South Pitt both had I about 70, it. and they're talented. They're really talented. Seth Pitts so, is too. Yeah, so oh, we yeah. probably overachieved a little bit that mm -hmm. night. But our kids mm -hmm. believe right now, and that's probably that the most important thing. There's nothing wrong with overachieving. Oh, no. No. no, not a bit. No, and then you get the big win, of course, against the arch rivals, Sequatchie yeah. County. Yeah. Sorry, Dunlap fans. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big win. We broke the losing streak right, against them. Right. Uh, then. Uh, the big win against Monterey, man, talk about a nail biter there. Yeah, and that was a tough stretch of games because the, the three games you just named mm -hmm. were back to back to back. So yeah. going back to uh, playing Dunlap, that, that that's such an emotional game. And I've yeah. been, I've been coaching for uh, over twenty five years, and I've been in some really big rivalries. Uh, yeah. And but but this one is so significant <laughs> between is. both communities, and you're playing <laughs> for the stump. It's yeah. really big. I mean, it's really, and I Can't called it. Can't get any bigger. Yeah, I interviewed with some guys in, out of Chattanooga, and they said, well, what about that? I said, I call it the gas pump. You know I said, because I can't go to the gas pump without somebody telling me to beat Dunlap. I bet. Hey, Coach, how you doing? Good win last week, but we got to beat Dunlap, you know? Uh, and uh, I love and I so it's a it's a bragging right game for sure. But then it you play is, then is. you play Mary in the next week, which that's tough. on a playoff scale, you know, and you're looking at your season, that's a region game. And that and that Definitely. Counts, yeah, that's really, you yeah. know, so last year, you know, we ended up going eight and four, uh, in my first mm -hmm. year and I was worried to death because we came off a very disappointing loss to Dunlap, which we probably oh, could have won that game. Yeah, we were, yeah. And I would never make excuses. We were that without a couple of players, but we should have got the win anyway. The, yeah, yeah. And uh, we didn't, so we had to rebound. And, and I, yeah. I tell you, us beating Marion last year, I think, helped us beat them again. And it's been yeah. a long time since we've beat them two times in a row. But, oh, gosh. And then yeah. you almost have a letdown when you go to Monterey because a lot of people think of Monterey as being this really small school, which but they used to be. they're good this year, though. But they're going to be a double-A team next year. Their enrollment oh. is almost That's what you go by, guys. Wow, I didn't know that. And, and four years ago or five, they were in the Final Four in football. Last year, they were 10-0 and in the regular season. So we knew they had a good team. Yeah. Yeah. And to go up there and play in some pretty adverse conditions, we, yeah. had, we had some things going on uh, with some sickness and different things and some mm -hmm. injuries, and which is typical in football. But, but our kids found a tough. way to win. They were resilient oh, yeah. that night. So we're, we're pleased with that. We just got to you know, stay gotta, humble and, that's right. and keep working. We say stay humble and hungry and, yeah. and don't get yeah. the big head, really, is what that means. I like you know? that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Well, if if anyone gets the big head, you stick a pen in. Do you? <laughs> now, you know, and, and and this is what I tell them: we've got medicine for that, Mister Albert. We, this, it's tire flips, up downs, sprints, gassers, push ups. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that medicine the helps with the big works. head pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> it works so if we good. make mistakes in practice, I'll, I'll tell them, boys, we got some medicine coming if we don't fix it. That's and right. A lot of times they don't want that medicine. So, <laughs> who else do we have on the schedule? This this is the it, eighth game. It, it's a little right. bit. It's, well, that was a really yeah. tough part of the schedule there. Wasn't well, it? it was, but you know, but you can't. Yeah, we can't overlook anybody. No. We really can't. Uh, Polk County, for many many years, was mm -hmm. traditionally a you know a power team. Yeah. When Coach Davis was over there. Yeah. Uh, he's not there now, but they still got the same kids, types of kids. Yeah. So we can't overlook them tonight. No. You've got Cumberland next week, which is a four A school. And then we uh, yeah. end our regular season with Teleco Plains 
which made the playoffs last year, and uh, they've got okay. a, they had a new coach that was hired in, and he's done some good things over there. So, you know, we'll what? round it out with Polk tonight, Cumberland next week, and then Teleco Plains. Well, I've got one more question. We'd to be ask favored you. in all those, though, Papa. Where is South Pittsburgh? Uh, we don't Getting the talent. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, well, they're not on our schedule. This is a rescheduling year, and whether mm. we get them back on the schedule or not, you, there's you a lot of intangibles. Well, I, we I traditionally do. don't yeah. play them very often, though. They're but they're try, actually single A. They are. Yeah. They're not in our region, so sometimes you can't get the That's dates to match it. up yeah. and those kind of things. Well, they know. always play Marion County because of the run. Well, there's, there, there's some teams in the that same county. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. They're going to have some teams on their list to play that are probably oh, yeah. above of ours you yes. know, and then so I don't know where we fall or, right. or that kind of thing but sometimes scheduling gets tricky just because of your region your mandatory games and then right. the other teams like our non-region game number one is going to be playing Squatch County of so we've got to get that scheduled and then we'll go from there exactly it's crazy y'all, that we're not in our same region anymore right? yeah well there you know right now our enrollment is a is, is in the 460s and I, okay. I think uh, Dunlap right now or Squatch County I always say Dunlap but oh, yeah. uh <laughs> you know, they're, I think they're around 800 kids. I mean, they're probably getting close to double. Oh, what we have, okay. You know. There's wow. people that live in Dunlap that have that close relationship to employment in Hamilton, Hamilton County. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the highways, the way that they are... are they're just strategically located and we're not oh sure <laughs> sure yeah and it and they and, and every now and then you just so happen to you know have a player or two that uh that's right that can get can live there to get to work a little bit easier so they, they oh, yeah. occasionally get the you know get a transfer from time to time and we're we're somewhat you know we joke about that as coach staff mm -hmm. but we're almost landlocked in some ways we are we are, we are and this completely, is what I, you know this is what completely. i tell our kids though i'd rather win with homegrown kids you know it makes let's, it that much develop, sweeter let's develop a program and develop you, right. it or you don't and, that's and right let's compete you know let's compete and it's I think our kids are buying into that. I too. think the I think only way that we're going to get unlandlocked is to put in an airport. <laughs> yeah, well, and I don't have my pilot license. I mean, we We can't we'd expect him to save everything, Papa. <laughs> well, I'm just saying the railroad, they took up the tracks. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they sure did. did. They sure did. <laughs> Went down old Highway 28, didn't it? There used yeah. to be a bus station located mm -hmm. here. They. The, it's like the we building, went backwards, right? <laughs> the building is still there, but no buses. Uh, yeah, that's true. Trailway. So, uh, really, by foot and uh, I don't hardly ever see a mule anymore, but foot and a high of yeah. cars. Yeah. Thank God for cars. Mm -hmm. I know it. But I, I would say that we view more mules and wagons in Pikeville than we do most anywhere else. Oh, uh, you yeah, dang we, right. still, yeah, we can still see them from time to time. Yeah. That's true. Sometimes pastor, down Main Street. Yeah. My yes. pastor will go horseback riding, uh, go up the side of the mountain. Hey, oh, a lot of yeah. people do that. Mm -hmm. But I agree with you. It's a lot sweeter, though. It makes it that much more rewarding when you do win with homegrown talent. Right. It, it just does. Sure. Some of these sure. teams we're, we're talking about, I won't name names, but some of them recruit. You know, mm -hmm. that's... Uh, that's tough. That's, yeah. I, I consider it an unfair advantage, to be honest right. with you. So it, it is impressive what you guys are doing, and it makes it that much more rewarding, I think. Yeah, well, we sure appreciate it. I know that uh, I know the community is really fired up now. They just, are. You know, like yes. I say, I just want to, you know, like I say, our kids deserve a lot of credit, our coaches. Uh, yeah. And and our student body's been great, too, showing up at the games. And, and well, uh, the, I know. The one loss they, record don't hurt. Oh, no, well. You're yeah, absolutely seven right and about that. Now, and that, I don't that, know the uh, last time. Helps. I don't know the last time we were seven and zero. Oh even have they told you that? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a long time. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe somebody told me the nineties. Uh, you know, I'm oh, not that, sure about I was that. thinking I know longer that, than uh, that. I know that Coach Real had a team uh, that that done really well. Uh, I know Dickie mm -hmm. Brown had a team. I think they ended oh, up winning ten or eleven okay. games. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I remember, you know, so, it, yeah, yeah. And I don't want to look too far ahead. We just, mm -hmm. we just got to win tonight. Go with you know? the now. Go with the now. Yeah. But, but we will. We'll embrace it. You know, listen. If we, I'm a sure lot of people have told it. me that there's been a maybe an undefeated team or two, but those included maybe some forfeit wins. That, that's really not exactly. on my agenda. But I know exactly. a lot of people. But we're, we're just going to embrace every win. That's if we right. Can, we're going to try to win as many as we play. That's right. You know? so that's that, all you that, can that's do. What we're gonna try to that do. sounds yeah. like a good motto for success.
and I think it's impressive too though like I was saying earlier like to get kids this age to buy in uh, I coach basketball I know that it's not exactly easy to get kids to uh, buy into the team thing the team concept so no it's tough uh, that's it's tough. tough so yeah. I, I think it's very impressive because you can tell they they have bought into your system but if you've got a but if you've got a player that weighs 250 pounds and can run four four <laughs> give him the ball more than the other guy well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be a no-brainer wouldn't it now mr albert where can we get this kid you're talking about oh, yeah, exactly. i'll yeah. be looking we, we need to enroll him in school <laughs> That is hey. true. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Derrick Henry for the Titans. Right I there. know. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think you guys can really make, uh, not putting pressure on you or anything, but I think you guys might make a run in the playoffs this year. Like, what do, what do you think about that? Do you, you think you, I think you have a realistic chance to, uh, I really do. Oh, well, you're already in the playoffs? What, well, well we, yeah. We're yeah. already there. You know, if we can, if we can win tonight, depending on what happens, uh, in, in mm. some other games, we could get a number one seed. Exactly. Uh, and then that means, That'd you know, huge. your first game, probably first two, uh, would at be home. at home. But you don't yeah. want to look too far ahead. No. I'm, no. I've been accused of being a, a, a <laughs> poor mouthing coach and, you know, heck, uh, some of the folks from the central office will come by occasionally and go, well, tell us how bad we are and tell us how good the other team is for this week. And, and, uh, and I don't know, that's just the way I was brought up in coaching, yeah. but we're, but like I say, if we can continue to mm -hmm. do what we've done and stay yes. healthy, you know, like tonight, we're going to sure. have a couple, couple kids out, uh, it's a couple starters out. And then we've, oh. got, we've got a couple that's, uh, they're not injured, but they're actually quarantined because oh. of COVID. So yeah. it's been crazy having to deal with that stuff. Oh, I'm and sure. that's been, I'm you know, sure, that's man. been since we started the first week of June. Yeah. And we're, we're trying to be as, as careful and safe as we can, but you know, it's a roll of the dice sometimes. It uh, is. That kind of thing. But Let me it, tell you, when but you, we're building depth though to try yeah. to take care When of you it. drop a basketball, you know it bounces back up in your hand. But when you drop that football, you don't know where it's going. Oh, no, and we've dropped it too much <laughs> lately. We've luckily got them back. So, again, we had to give out some medicine just this past week right. for those kind of things. Yes, the hold on to the ball medicine <laughs> with that. I think that medicine's working pretty good. Yeah. I, I've been told that you are a, a pretty good disciplinarian, and I think that's important well, in coaching. I, I really do. I think so, and, and uh, you know, I know I probably made some mistakes as a young coach mm -hmm. because you, if you ever get to worrying about whether players like you or not, oh, you yeah. probably don't need to coach. That's right. You know, or teach for that matter. And yeah. And uh, I learned that lesson early, thirty years ago, early mm -hmm. on. And uh, and I tell the kids all the time, I'm I'm not here to be your friend. That's right. I'm at That's that, right. that, that now. We're we're going to respect each other. Yeah. But I have a job. To do and so do you and we're here to educate you through football because you can yeah. learn a lot of things on that field that you can't learn in the classroom that's true and one of those things is how to work together you you don't have to be best friends on the team you don't have to right. go hang out all the time but we've right. got to learn to work together that's right and i'm gonna make you mad and, yeah uh, i went ahead and told them that first day i said but now through my experiences, I've been very lucky to have played for some good coaches yeah. and have been on some good coaching staffs. Because early on, I, I, I was, and I thought I was pretty good, and it took me, <laughs> it took some humble pie right. know, for me to learn how to coach. And not that I'm any good now, but I've learned a few <laughs> good lessons. And so, uh, yeah, it, we uh, we want discipline. We we yeah. certainly want discipline, and if we if we do mess up, there's consequences for that, and, and kids uh, have to learn that. I have do. to learn. I that. mean, yeah. I tell the kids to keep that's me life. straight, coaches too. So, right? Yeah. Yeah, but 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 that's actually a compliment for you to say that. If you know, yeah, if, if you're if you're hearing that, yes. that's probably better than the coaches saying, "Hey, me and Coach Tabor are good buddies." You know, right. I mean, that's not right. that not that I don't love them all. Exactly. Know, but, uh, exactly. But, we, but we need to have a, a good respect for each other. My daddy used to call it fear. You know, he said, "Yeah, yeah, said they need to fear you a fear little bit. bit. Yeah, they yeah. fear you. Yeah. You know, just oh, yeah. just a little bit. That's right. But but they know that you love them too. You know, exactly. And, and we talk about that a lot. I'm not yeah. afraid to tell them. You know, I yeah. do love them. Man. Exactly. You know, and and uh, you need them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You need them. But yeah. that's what championship teams are, are made of. And I'm it glad is. I'm glad to learn who you are because I know all of your background and all of your people 
and I'm proud yeah. to meet you. Oh, well, thank you. Thank Are you. Are you glad to be back? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I went to Wheeler uh, Elementary yeah. up through eighth grade. At the end of my eighth grade year, my dad had taken a job. Well, he actually took a job maybe when I was in seventh grade at really? Wheeler, and he was trying to go back and forth. Anyway, we ended up moving to Georgia for a while, and I loved it down there, but... I remember going to games here when I was in, in, in would be middle school now, and I yeah. was watching like Houston Thomas play and Sandy oh, yeah. and all those guys, and and Steve Real, who's at those the school some now. Good teams, yeah. and, boy, I wanted to wear that blue and gold, you know, at one right. time, and it just didn't work out that way. Now my three brothers, when, mm -hmm. when they, when my mom and dad moved back, they all played here, so this place has always had a, right. a special place. It's been special for me, and then. I've got, like I say, I've got numerous cousins, aunts, and uncles, and that kind of thing, too. Well, I think oh, yeah, I know. I know. I think all your family. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think you're making it more special. Well, I, we, I we so hope too. to. And, I think and so you too. know, like I say, there's going to be ups and downs, and right now we're on, you know, we're on the up. But, uh, you, you know, go. we're going to work, work our way through the downs, too. So, you know, it's yeah. something we don't want to do it, but if we ever were to stumble and fall mm -hmm. and lose one, you know, we're going to pick our pick ourselves oh, yeah. up and, and, and get it fixed and go compete the next week. Well, I don't believe in luck, so I'm not going to tell he you He always luck says this. I sure do hope you win. <laughs> I hear that a lot. <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> well, I'll say good luck. Nothing wrong with That's saying right. good luck to you. <laughs> Uh, definitely thanks for joining us today, uh, Coach Tabor. Uh, very glad to have you here. And uh, we'll definitely have to get him back on the show with some of you players. Uh, yeah, you know, please do. Yeah, we'll get, you know, we get some of those play, other coaches involved, yeah, too, and some yeah. players. And, and I've watched your show before, even before I had moved up to oh, okay. visit my family. And, yeah. <laughs> hey, I love watching the show. It's a good one. Well, thank you, We'd, buddy. Like, we'd like, like to have you back after that undefeated season. Oh, uh, <laughs> But no pressure. <laughs> no, no pressure, yeah, at all. Hey, Lord. Well, uh, we'll be back. After the break, Papa will have some of his uh, good old trivia, or crazy trivia as I call it, and some sports of all sorts. That's yeah, coming up after the break. We'll be right back, folks. I'll take care of that today, Dylan. Oh, no, 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 I lost my debit card. Hey, use that new Mountain Valley Bank app we got. You know, Card Valet, you can freeze your card so nobody can use it till you find it. That's a good idea, Dylan. Where was the last place I used my debit card? I don't know, hurry up. I can't stay this late for error. I feel like I'm doing the Lannigan Challenge. I'm going to end up a lot, y'all. <coughs> Thank God. The out freezes my debit card, Bill, not you. Oh. All right. Welcome back to the Albert and Billy Show. Here on Channel 18 Valley TV and YouTube and WUAT Radio and also, I uh, didn't mention uh, Facebook. Uh -huh. We've been doing a lot of Facebook Live episodes lately and they've been doing really well. So we're going to continue to do that. Uh, didn't get a chance to do that today because Daryl's not here, but uh, we'll, we'll be back on Facebook Live next week. So... I want to thank everybody though for watching that. Uh, it done really well. I was very surprised. Yes. Because uh, we didn't promote it at all. <laughs> it was literally a last minute decision. So uh, very pleased with the numbers on that. It was thousands of people watching and no. Really? Yeah, no, without any, you know, promotion of at all for it. So uh, that was pretty fun. This, <clears throat> this YouTube deal is is for real, isn't it? It is, yeah. It sure is. That's how a lot of people from 
Well, from all over the world can watch us. We had mm-hmm. some our Irish people watching us and Australian people watching us uh, the other day. Well, what is the difference in YouTube and Facebook? Uh, they're, they're pretty similar. YouTube is just videos and Facebook is different things. But you can put YouTube videos on Facebook. So that's, and that's what I do, uh, by the way, viewers and listeners. If you want to watch an episode of the Albert and Billy show, uh, you can go to my Facebook page, Billy Bridges, and the new episodes are on my Facebook page. That's a, a well, lot of people watch that? it on there, yeah. I got my, my pastor let me see a little bit of one the other day. First one mm-hmm. I've seen. Really? No, no, not this show. It's like where you're teaching Sunday school? Where I'm teaching Sunday yeah. school. I, it's done really well, too. I just said something. He had something no to, idea. <laughs> I just said something to him. He asked me about the Sunday school lesson that I had recorded that day mm-hmm. or the day before. <laughs> and I, I said, well, I don't know how it turns out. I said, I never do get to watch it. He said, you mean to tell me you've been doing that for four or five months? I know, months? that's what blows my mind. You've not mind. seen one of them? I said, no. I, that's so what he, blows my mind, he, Papa. He, he stopped. We, I was involved in Bible study with the inmates from the jail. Mm-hmm. And I go down there every day for that. And, oh, really? And he just stopped our Bible study in Second Samuel. Yeah. To show me some of the... <laughs> I'm glad he did. I'm glad he did. I, I need to start doing that, too. I need to just make you be still for five minutes so you can watch it. And then you would realize, you know what? I do need to learn how to use a computer. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hear your uh, trivia, trivia this for week. today. Oh, man. These are catchy. Easy, easy. Usually when he says easy, folks, that means it's not easy. For instance, the first one, the two words, ulna and tibia, what are you talking about? In your body. Hmm, Where is it? What is your ulna and what is your tibia? Okay, I've heard of tibia, but I've not heard of the first one. What's it called again? Ulna. Uh, I'm thinking the leg, maybe. Well, I'm just saying, what what part of the body is it? Uh, no, I ain't gonna be get that specific, cause I don't know. But I'm just saying, but it's more it is the leg. a body part. It is a bone. Oh, definitely a bone. A yes, because I broke That's all mine. It is. It's just a bone. <laughs> I broke my leg one time, so okay, yeah. yeah. I broke a leg. <laughs> There's a fibula, a tibia, I don't know. Yeah, what I, I'm on, they called mine a spinal Wrist, break. Wrist, ankle? Yeah. Okay, second one. Where is the citrus bowl held? Okay, let me think. I know it's in Florida. Uh, there, um, you're half right. Let's see. Citrus bowl, citrus bowl. Dang it. Uh... Orlando? Orlando. Oh, Very God. good. I remember when uh, <laughs> Steve Spurrier was at Florida. Oh, yeah. He said, you can't spell citrus with that U-T in it. Oh. He was saying he oh, went to bigger bowls insult. every year, and we had to go to the citrus bowl. <laughs> you, did you ever he hear him loved, say that? He loved he uh, wanted Tawling, to, Tennessee. He wanted to needle Tennessee. He, and he's from Tennessee. Coaching staff and coaches, he wanted to rub their nose in he dirt. He did. Money. And I always thought that was kind of crazy because he is, he is from Tennessee, but he must he had hard feelings towards Tennessee for whatever reason. Well, it would seem to me the things that he did would, would give the coaching staff at UT mm-hmm. chalkboard material for the next game. That's true. It should have motivated them. But and I, I mean, I'm sure there's times that it did. The state spud source. The state that raises the most potatoes. No, uh, Idaho. 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 I'd love state to go there. Spud source. I like that. That that I like that. I thought of that. And I that. thought, Albert, that's clever. I'm <laughs> glad you thought of that. A gambler's cubes. Uh, gambler's cubes. Would that be the dice. The dice. The okay. little cubes. Yeah, that's true. If you're a mama rabbit, how do I refer to you? What do I call you? Oh, I don't know if I've ever. You're the mama rabbit. Mm. Same as the deer. Female deer. 
uh, it's the same name as that. Uh, wait, I was gonna say a doe, but that's a not. doe is right. Oh, okay. okay. That is the female <laughs> rabbit. It's the female deer. Okay. A doe. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. I want you to learn, Billy. I know, I know you do. <laughs> okay, now this is this is something that happened just a few days ago. The Supreme Court lady that died, her name was Blank Bader Ginsburg. What was her first name? Uh, let me. I turned mine off. I, I use that to get on pop off for this, but today it's me. <laughs> Uh, but I do want you to say that again because I don't... What was the first name of the uh, lady that died that was on the Supreme Court? Um, her last name is Ginsburg. But what was her I'm first turning name? turning my phone off if you guys are wondering what's taking me so long. Uh, Sorry. Gosh, that makes me mad though because... It had to be in the I news quite it. a bit. It was. Uh, it was give me multiple... Uh, we should give you multiple choice sometimes. Sarah, Bill, Ruth, um, oh, Mary. Okay, Sarah, Bill, Ruth, or Mary. It's going to be one of them, right? Yeah, let's say that. Yeah, well, it's a woman, so it's not Bill. There you go. Uh, I don't think it's Mary. No, it's not Mary. So it's down to Sarah and Ruth. There you go. Is it Ruth? Yeah, oh, way to go, God. Billy. You're a, you're perfect so far. I cannot think of her first name. If your chair is squeaky and you take care of that squeak, how do you take care of the squeak? Hmm. Uh, what do you apply crap. to a squeak that you want to get rid of? And I know, like I I know what you're talking about. Um, what what material? WD forty maybe. <laughs> Okay, does it okay, okay? You would oil the squeak. Right, right. WD forty is excellent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Could be a snake or it could be a shoe. It's could a, be a snake or a shoe. Um think of a shoe that could also be a snake. But it's also a, a I snake. might know what it okay, but let's see. If it's what I'm wanting to say. It's not the type it, of shoe uh, you'd wear. Not the type no, of shoe. no. But I've seen them. And uh is it also maybe um uh, a nickname to UTC? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's moccasins. Moccasins. Okay. Yeah. I don't know where that came from, but I thought that was clever. That was. That was. <laughs> Uh, I was hoping that would be the answer, but I wasn't for sure. The companion of a saucer. The companion of a saucer? What goes with a saucer? A saucer, as in like preparing food. If you're... If you're oh, at, saucer is what the food comes on. No, the saucer oh. is what... If you're invited to a tea. Oh, oh, there's a glass, a cup. A cup. Lot. Okay. Cup. cup. Oh, that's on it. Cup okay. and saucer. There's okay. a song, I'm still drinking from my saucer, Lord, because my cup has overflowed. Oh, I've never, I've not heard that one, I don't think. Oh, you want me to sing a little no, bit? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> brother, brother, <laughs> Brother Jim and I did a funeral together the other day. And Brother <laughs> Jim and and I did the eulogy, and Brother Jim sang uh, uh, "Beulah Land." That's a very popular funeral oh, song, isn't it? And so I I said I think I said or wanted to say. <laughs> they asked me if I would wanted to sing "Beulah Land" or do the <laughs> eulogy, and I said, "Brother Jim, and I flipped a coin and I lost." <laughs> What is a <laughs> what, what what is a night crawler? A night crawler, a uh, cricket. No. Worm. A worm. Yeah, yeah, it's a worm. Yeah. You call them. Night I knew crawlers. when I said cricket, I was wrong. As but you know, I have ne I've never gone out in the yard and found any worms crawling. I haven't either. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I don't I understand know where they come up with that one. <laughs> a lot of activity goes on at night. 
Definitely. Because yeah. you've got critters that hunt at night. That are not kind of, what, it, nocturnal? No, and you call them nocturnal. The mm. owl, of course, they're up in a tree and they can see everything yeah. that's going on down here on the floor of the forest. That's right. And, and they're ready to pounce on whatever they want. Yeah. And they let us know it sometimes because they'll hoot all night long. Yeah. <laughs> Owls are... Uh, they're pretty interesting, they? are they? interesting. They are. Uh, very anyway, exotic looking, yeah. Sports. Sports of all sorts. Oh, I, well, I think trivia went pretty smoothly then. Well, you didn't miss a one. Whew. Yeah. Football. <laughs> high okay. school style. Yeah, we That's just so uh, talked to the coach, yeah. Yeah, we did. We sure did. Well, they went to Monterey last week oh, to man, uh, a, take on Monterey. It was a good and, one. And uh, it was a close ball game. Oh, very close. Well very fought. Close. Well fought. Yes. Um, Came down to the last, the final possession. And they and, and the other team had the ball on yes. the last possession. They were in the red zone. They could have scored a touchdown and won the game. But we came up with a big interception. Interception. Was it Harmon? Harmon Keith. Harmon the, Keith yeah. gave us that interception. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it was a, a good ball. It was a good win. Mm -hmm. It was a good win. And then... Uh, well, like the coach was saying, like Monterey... Is not the Monterey of years past. They used to be more basketball than Monterey was, but now, last few years, they've been good in football. And this year, they they were undefeated as well going into that game. So yeah, they were. That's a good win. Then tonight we take on Polk County. Yeah, yeah. And I checked the newspaper today out of Chattanooga, the Chattanooga Times Free Press. <laughs> I'm sure they all picked us. And every sports writer on the agenda, mm -hmm. 100%, they were in favor of Blitzo winning this game. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I think that Polk County ought to read our... Uh, <laughs> our sporting <laughs> account in the paper to see how good we are that's right uh we have we have beaten them uh a few years in a row now papa and uh they've not been close not been very close so and i think they're really struggling this year too Pope yeah County. they're 0 seven okay they're struggling that's even worse struggling. than i thought that's struggling yeah so we should win that well the only way we don't win that it just had to be a complete you know, let down or something that I don't see that happening. I feel good about our team. Yeah. From the standpoint of some of the items that I picked up on that the coach talked about, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he talked about he wanted the players to to learn character, not just winning or losing a game. Yeah. Uh, sports is an area we are sports oriented society I know that mm -hmm. but sports does teach you character mm -hmm. part of that character that you learn about is winning and losing you don't win them all exactly so you got to learn how to take defeat and bounce in back stride from in stride is yeah. part of the process of learning in life you yeah. don't always win no nope. so far I've won every game I've played <laughs> I never, I never played. T I never played in any team sport. Mr. Warden, uh, Mr. Warden was a basketball coach and football coach when yeah. I went, when I went to high school. Jim Warden's daddy, and yeah. he would let me stay out there on the uh, during the basketball practice, uh -huh. and let me scrimmage with the team because I was so tall. Oh, really? <laughs> it wasn't that I was good. It's just because you're tall, okay. Because I'm tall. <laughs> but I did get to play basketball whenever the teams, every year, each, uh, you had a, a tournament between the freshmen, sophomores. Class tournament. Class tournament. Yeah, I played and in those. And I got to play in that class tournament every year. Yeah, those were fun. Those were fun. I'm, I, I think, I don't, well, they may I don't do think I anymore. was the star or anything. <laughs> but I got to play. I That's think, all that matters, right? I think we only had five men I got to play. <laughs> well, <laughs> Tennessee well, yeah, was... took on Georgia last Saturday in oh, Athens. Man. In Athens. But you know what? I, I didn't think we'd win that one, so. 
You well, know. we were ahead 21-17, and I felt pretty good. I did, I did then, yeah. But I believe the difference in the game mm -hmm. is in what the coaches did at halftime. Yeah. Their right. coaches picked out some areas on our defense that they could take advantage of, and they did. Well, they did. They made adjustments, and we didn't. Well, they only had 17 points at the half, and they wound up with 44. <laughs> they, we had 21 at the half, and we wound up with 21. Does that tell you anything? That tells you right there that whether you like him or not, Mr. Jeremy Pruitt got out coached, plain and simple, on Saturday. Well, he at did. the end of the game, after playing 60 minutes, four quarters, mm -hmm. our runners had a total for the day of minus one yard. That's horrible. Horrible. Yeah. That is, that's non-existent. Non-existent. Mm. That's minus. Mm. And the paper, one day, yesterday or today, the Chattanooga Times said that our uh, ground game lacked something. Uh, it does. Uh, yeah, it does. It lacks, uh, I believe. Besides Gray, I've not seen much of anything outside of him. I'm not. No, but uh, I believe that we need to have more emphasis on our spa our passing attack. Yeah. If if the ground game is non-existent, <laughs> exactly. wipe it off. Yeah, quit calling plays then that require you to run, uh, live and die what with your passing us, game. What hurt us, we would have had some positive yardage. But what hurt us was all of the sacks oh, man. that our quarterback had to abstain, I mean, had to uh, yeah. go through because that's minus yardage every time they knock yeah. you about eight or nine yards back down the field. And, you know, we were just bragging on the, them saying how – I've said it several times how their offensive line has improved this year. Yeah, but where were we? I mean, they were like uh, the last few years. Tennessee team Saturday is what they look like. The, the offensive line was terrible Saturday. Well, here's the thing: Georgia's number three. They yeah. played like number three. They sure did. They're good. We were playing like number forty-four. <laughs> we were. Uh, but we're still we're still ranked in the top. Well, yeah, and we, should, and we should be because we weren't expected to win that game. And we did have a halftime lead over Georgia. I mean, but I think that's just, one thing that held us up there as high as we are. I, I'd say so. I would say so. But let me tell you, I think this game Saturday is a toss-up. Yeah. I'm sure Tennessee should be favored. Mm hmm But let me tell you, we beat Kentucky two times in a row. Oh, yeah, and, we, and we've... <laughs> We've won a lot of games against them, but every now and then they sneak in a victory too. I respect Bob Stoops. Yeah, yeah, he I is a good coach. I respect him. He's got a football mind. He it's does. in his genes. Mm -hmm. His dad. That's true. And and I just think that Tennessee should not assume we got to win. I hope they don't. Yeah, I don't think they'll be like that though. They hopefully they'll be a little bit angry and, and play with an attitude and play to win play hungry well they we should sh be hungry for we a should be tickled to death that we only went from 14 down to 18 that that uh, <laughs> I, I, know don't, it. I don't understand that I don't well understand. it has it like i said it has to be because of the first half we did look like a good team the first half the thing about but that, before we go on anything else, so I'll say it again. A lot of the problem is our streaky quarterback is too inconsistent. Their quarterback was SEC caliber. Yes. Our quarterback is not SEC no, caliber. You're right. But here's another thing. Some of those guys that were playing in Athens, Georgia, Saturday mm -hmm. will be pe will be playing in the pros next year. Oh yeah, I agree with that. I don't know that anybody on Tennessee's team will. Maybe I know. Maybe a couple of linemen. Yeah, yeah. And a linebacker maybe, but <clears throat> all in all, I think uh, our football team they'll be scientists or. <laughs> Doctors or something. <laughs> Which we have quite a few underclassmen, too, so maybe they'll improve. We're really missing Jawan Jennings this year, too, aren't we? Oh, yeah. 
We're, Big we're, time. We're missing him. Okay. Uh, the the Wildcats beat Mississippi State Saturday by three touchdowns. I couldn't believe that. I, I I don't I don't fathom that. Me either. Mississippi State is that inconsistent? Obviously, obviously. Didn't they lose the week before too? Mississippi State. Is this their second loss in a row uh, now? After the big LSU the, win. The, the big LSU. So I gave but them. But then the LSU's the lost two now. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, obviously they're having to rebuild after the national championship season last year. But I think Miss. I gave Mississippi State the benefit of the doubt last week, saying it was a letdown. But now two weeks in a row, no, no. no. But now listen. Next Saturday, the seventeenth. No, what is next Saturday? Um, Tomorrow's the seventeenth. Next yeah. Saturday is the twenty fourth. <laughs> right. Next right. Saturday is the twenty fourth. We take on Alabama. Oof. Oof. And it will be on CBS television. It'll be at two thirty in the afternoon our time. Oh uh, yeah, and it normally is on CBS. Now tomorrow it's going to be at eleven our time. Oof. That's an o'clock. early one. Eleven o'clock. Now is it in? Uh, is it at Alabama or is it in Knoxville this year? I, I can't. I'm not sure. It's going to be. It's going to be here in Knoxville. Okay. Okay. That might help us out a little bit. Well, you that'll know. give us seven points. It's, it's supposed to. Isn't if it? we if we can shut them out, the game will be seven and <laughs> That's right. Baseball. <laughs> I don't want to talk about baseball. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How did you, I, I was seen, watching a little bit of your Dodgers last night, but I don't know who won. I take it they did not win last night. Look at my Dodgers shirt. But you're shirt. wearing their shirt though, so that did they did they win? No. Well, dang. Well, I mean, I don't care, but I know you're rooting for them. <laughs> the Dodgers not before last won. Oh yeah. Fifteen to three. Yeah. But none of that carried over to last night to camp. We got one run last night. <laughs> What's going on with them? Well, Atlanta's, the got, no Atlanta's got on their hitting shoes, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they're carrying a heavy bat. We've got little old bitty toothpicks that we're trying to yeah. hit that ball with, and it's not working. But the Dodgers didn't they have the best record in the Had best record. They hit, hit more home runs. Now, we did not before last. We yeah. hit home run after home run after home run. Yeah. And Kershaw started last night. Mm -hmm. Kershaw only gave up one run, but whenever they took Kershaw out, Mm -hmm. Ah, we got ducks on the pond now. Yeah. <laughs> so last night was ten to one. Atlanta, oh, Atlanta leads three games to one. Wow! And if they win tonight, it's they shady it. bar the door. So, okay, Papa, I've noticed in a pattern with your precious Dodgers, uh, and I've said it to you before. They, this is a, a two or three times now where they've had a great regular season they had the best record and then they just completely fold in the playoffs and i know you noticed it obviously um that has to be kind of psychological a little bit all i can say is bitty you're very observant <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not over yet, though. It's not over till it's over. So yeah, I've you know, heard that before. <laughs> we'll see. It's not over till the fat, fat lady sings. Fat lady sings. <laughs> That's true. All right. Now, who else? Who is the American League? Uh, okay, in the it? American League, it's Tampa Bay and Astros. And the Astros wow. have pulled up to three. Uh, let's see, three games to two, I believe. Oh, it's a close one. Uh, let me see. Sure, I got Astros won it a couple of years ago, so yeah, they were, they were champion. Tampa surprises me though. I didn't know they were that good. Well, I have a daggum. I don't know. Where <laughs> oh, let me tell you. Uh, uh -huh. Joe Morgan died. Joe Morgan was on the big red. He was second baseman on the big red machine for Cincinnati for so oh, many years. Oh, really? But this year we have lost in baseball. Mm -hmm. Whitey Ford. Whitey Ford was ninety-one. I had no idea he was that old. Mm -hmm. uh, Al Kaline. He played with the Detroit Tigers. Good ball player. Really. Tom Seaver was pitcher for Atlanta. Lou oh. Brock was a base stealer. Oh, he was so good. Bob Gibson was one of the greatest pitchers that I've ever heard, lived. I've heard of him. 
uh, th that's that's a bunch of outstanding ball. But yeah. see, Whitey Ford, 91 years old. See, I got to I see them I've play ball, mm -hmm. and here I am now still living, and they're dying. All this year. Uh, Frida's husband said that he, he remembered listening to the Dodgers win the World Series on the radio. Really? And I showed him my Dodger watch, 1955. I know, I like that. Uh, I like that. And they've won it a couple of times since then, but it's been a while. Mostly we got in the World Series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For many, many years, it was the Yankees, the Yankees, the Yankees. Oh, yeah. I, I get tired of them. Casey Stingle. I get tired of them. Casey Stingle, he would be talking, and you couldn't understand what he said. <laughs> and so the sports writers finally said, he's speaking in stingle <laughs> <laughs> they they named his language what he was talking after him. Stingleys. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. Bob. Basketball. I <laughs> yeah. me think of that. The Laker the Lakers uh, and the Heat God. they played uh that sixth game Sunday night mm. and uh the Lakers were leading three to two. Well then LeBron James led the way and the Lakers <laughs> took care of them. Yeah. Uh 106 to 93. Now they've tied the Celtics for the most championships. And that was the fourth title James has won. Yeah, and it's with a, a lot of different teams. The Heat, the yes. Lakers, Cleveland. So with three different teams, I don't like that. I think he needs to be loyal to one team and stay. I don't like that. It's like he wants to go uh wherever he knows a team's going to be stacked if he goes there. And I, I, well, I don't I, like that. I'd say he can pretty well play his cards where he, he can. wants to. He needs to be loyal but, to the team. Uh, in Albert has a tendency to want to compare him to Michael Jordan. Yeah, but Jordan stayed. Michael yeah, he was Jordan loyal. was a bull. That's right. And he stayed a bull. And a lot of your legendary yeah. players, they, they were loyal to that team. Julius Irving played for the Philadelphia Le all oh, those yeah. years. Larry Bird, Larry Celtic. Bird, the, and I mean, Bob Cousy. Yeah. But I don't think money talked as much then as it does now because some of these players, well, Billy, no, but they, make some, too much, they make too much money. Well, of course they do. They make way too much money. They're playing but a game. I, I've never seen a player with the finesse that Michael mm. Jordan uh, mm -hmm. would portray. He when yeah. he when he took off from the top of the foul circle yeah. to to get a layup, he yeah. floated fifteen feet. I know. Uh, yeah. He floated fifteen feet. He sure did. And then he he was fun to watch. Mm -hmm. But now LeBron James is uh, he can't be stopped if he makes up his mind he wants to go right. to the basket. Right. He's going to get there. He mm -hmm. he may knock you out of the way. Yeah, and every now and then he'll get called for that. But but yeah, he will. But try he's to got drop broad, strong shoulders, and yeah. he uses them. He sure does. He yeah, uses. he sure does. <laughs> well, let's talk about tennis just for a minute. Yeah, the French Open. The French Open. You had uh, the three biggies. Oh, Federer didn't play. I know. But you had. Uh, three men. You had uh, Federer with 20 wins, mm -hmm. and you had uh, Nadal with Rafael Nadal with 19. Yeah, and then and Djokovic you, is like at 15 he had or 16. 17. He had 17. Okay, so it could have been the big threes with the 20, call. 19, and 18. If if, if it Djokovic, gone. yeah. But the way it worked out, they don't all beat Fed, uh, Devot, Devot, Devot. Djokovic. Oh yeah, Nadal, but on clay. He is yeah, the best. It's his. He he it's can. His. He is so now very very good on clay. So now it's. So uh, what numbers he at now then, Nadal? Nineteen. Uh, let's see. It's now twenty for Federer, uh -huh. twenty for Nadal, and seventeen. Oh, for Na he tied Federer. Oh yeah. wow, wow. That's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. It will be interesting. Wow, and uh, on the women's side, it was an 18-year-old from Poland. First, I she said, upset. Big time, and she was the first uh, 
person from that country to ever win a, a major in tennis. She was tickled to death. Oh yeah, you, can you imagine the endorsements she's going to be getting now? And they speaking of endorsements, mm -hmm. in the paper this week, last yesterday or today, there is underway a movement to give football players the right to use their name for money to mm -hmm. endorse certain things instead of people using their name with they've got to get their permission and pay wow. them wow and that's in college sports but it's mm. it's it's a it's going to it's going to be a gimme it's going to be a gimme yeah they'll do it they'll yeah do it. probably so probably so well uh that's true papa Auburn just barely got by Arkansas last week. Man, I know, I know. I don't I, understand Florida. Who, and then, Florida? Florida got beat by Texas A&M. Oh, yeah. Florida but I'm won. always, I'm not going to lie, I love seeing them lose. <laughs> uh, LSU, who beat LSU? Uh, it was they a close got, one. They got beat again. Uh, LSU. Can't remember who beat them this time. It was a close game, though. LSU, uh... Missouri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Tennessee beat Missouri. Yeah, I don't understand that. That just shows you how evenly matched the but SEC really is. But now Missouri is one and two, and LSU's one and two. And L yeah, Missouri that's crazy. Don't understand. Yeah. Didn't think I'd see LSU at one and two. Saban and Kiffin. Yeah. Uh, they were against each other. Oh, and yeah. it's 63 to 48. I, I watched that game now. That's the most... Points <laughs> ever scored in the SEC history. I did not know that. Eighty-eight but it was pure years. Offense. Eighty-eight years it had been wow. since that many points were scored in a ball game in the SEC, and it happened between Lane Kiffin and. Oh uh, no! It was fun. It was actually a fun game to watch. They had one thousand three hundred seventy yards. Oh God! Of offense, but listen. There was just no defense. Though. Today oh. I read that Saban is uh, quarantined with uh, oh, really? coronavirus. Well, okay, yeah, I think, so my, I can't remember, I heard today that maybe because of that, their game's going to get pushed back. Uh, might, be, might be, might be. Well, don't quote me on that, folks. I, I'm pretty sure I heard that, but now I don't, I'm not going to say I know 100%, but I'm pretty sure okay, you of that. Know. Yeah, uh, well, well, we'll take a short break, and uh, after that, it'll be time for Papa's favorite part of the show, good old Albertology. That is coming up next, right here on the Albert Billy Show. Stay tuned. <laughs> Dana Thompson and her family just finished construction on their second new home with River Valley Ag Credit. Side by side, we ensured they got a quality, lasting home. You see, Dana and Brady have two daughters who rely on them. And we rely on River Valley Ag Credit. Rely on River Valley Ag Credit, serving Western Kentucky and Tennessee farmers for decades. Lending support for generations, River Valley Ag Credit. Ben Buckner here, General Manager of Victory Pre-Owned of Dunlap. I'm here to let everyone know that Victory offers a full service garage open to the public. Our mechanics are ASC certified and locally known and have over 20 years of experience. From our $29.95 oil change to complete car care, no job is too big or too small. Come in and check us out, 15480 Rankin Avenue, right in the middle of Dunlap, Tennessee. Welcome back to the Albert and Billy Show. You're on WUAT Radio, Channel 18 Valley TV and what, Papa? And YouTube. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and don't forget, um, a lot of our episodes will be on Facebook Live uh, from here on out, too. We're not on there today, but we've done a, a couple of them on Facebook Live. Had a good time with that and uh, got a lot of uh, viewers, so we'll definitely be doing that uh, again really soon. Uh, so you can watch us on Facebook. Thanks to our sponsors, Citizens Tri-County Bank, Bilbury Insurance, You'll see Frank, Susan, and Sadie. Scotty's right here in downtown Pipeville, home of the Scotty Burger. Emma Boynton, Lisa Wheeler, and Michael Walker from the courthouse. Thank you. 
Farm Bureau Insurance, Mike Massingale and his uh, friendly staff. Go see them for all your insurance needs. Bible Family Dentistry, Mags Auto, Judy and the Loom. Go see her, our next door neighbor right here on Cumberland Avenue. And of course, as you saw last week, we uh, spotlighted the new business right here with us, WAT Nickel Row Antiques. All right, Papa, it's time for some good old Albertology. What are you, you uh, ready? Are you ready? I'm ready as I'm going to be. I have, <laughs> I have several things, and we probably won't have time to get over all of them. But I've well, got yeah. a couple more thumbnail sketches of some Dude. of the people who served as president of the United States. Yeah, yeah, well, that's been What's interesting. It's getting close to November the 3rd. That's the day that we will elect someone to be president of the United States. Mm -hmm. It will either be Joe Biden, the Democratic nominee, mm -hmm. or Donald Trump, the incumbent Republican. Right. So that will be, and right now you can vote out of, uh, what is it, absentee? Early voting. Early yeah. Voting. Oh, and, we need, and then also we have a local race here, you know, in uh, Bledsoe County, the trustee position. Uh, we got a lot of people running for that as well. So uh, that'll also, early voting uh, has begun on that. It started Wednesday for all of it. Uh, so early voting will be each week up until the 3rd. So I'll be sure to vote uh, on the trustee no, race too. Short of the third somewhere. Either. Well, I think maybe a, yeah, a couple of days. Yeah. Uh, you'll have plenty of chances to early vote though, folks. So if you want to early vote, take advantage of it. But vote. But vote. That's vote. right. And uh, these presents that I'm going to do the thumbnail sketches on. Uh, mm -hmm. The first one is number twenty-one. His name was Chester Author. Now, I'll be honest, I, I've never heard of him. Well, I, I wasn't alive back in the 1800s. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> he was president from 1881 to 1885. He went, he went okay. to Union College. Oh. He was a lawyer. I would think that, um, that several of the people who have availed themselves of the opportunity to serve as president mm -hmm. had some... Uh, experience in the in political law. world somewhere. Uh, a yeah. lawyer is a smart cookie. Yeah, yeah. My, my, He's not the first one that I've heard no, you no. say was a lawyer. But, yeah. But some of them step up from being a senator or being a representative. Yeah. They they had their hand in politics some way. Yeah, they have ex, you know experience. Experience. That's a good good word. <laughs> good word. Okay, he was from the Republican Party. Okay. Uh, he was vice president under James A. Garfield, <laughs> and like when that. Garfield was shot, he oh, finished his term, really? and he had three years and 166 days to serve as president after Garfield was shot. Okay. This Didn't is when that. Standard Time was adopted. I had really? no idea it went back that far. Wow. And the Washington Monument was opened on February the 21st, 1885. Can you imagine? Didn't know that either. We became a nation in 1776, and mm. George Washington was a military leader, and he became our first president. Uh, yeah, and he he sure quickly, did. he had a monument erected to him in 1885. Yeah, that's, that's pretty quick. He yeah. was the fourth widower. Mm -hmm. His sister had to serve as first lady. He did not have oh, a wife. Oh, really? Well, that's interesting. There are things that hamper you if you don't have a wife. That well, and I never, which I've never heard of him. But the gar, the so he took over for Garfield. Was he killed? And that was he Evidently, assassinated. Okay. Evidently. Okay. Didn't say assassinated. Makes you think that since he had to take over for him. Yeah. Okay. Being Grover Cleveland. Now I've heard of Grover Cleveland. Mm -hmm. But it's just from studying back right. in uh, English. Mm -hmm. He served in 1885. He took over after the other fellow. And okay. he served till 1889. Then again in 1893, mm -hmm. he was reelected and okay. served till 1897. Okay, so, so he, he was the terms. 22nd president and the 24th. Oh, wow. Can you believe that? Oh, okay. So he, he wasn't. Uh, re-elected right off the bat no okay now that is uh very unique there i don't know if i've ever heard of that 
it's what's one thing that's unique to me is they don't always have a college education. I know. This man I'm, had no college. Wow. But I would think when you surveyed the uh, arena for politicians to mm-hmm. run, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of people that went to college. Probably not. Probably not, not, especially in those days. He was a lawyer, he was sheriff, <laughs> and he was also in the Democratic Party. <laughs> he was a bachelor when elected, uh-huh. but he married. In uh-huh. 18, one year later, in 1886, he got married. He had five children, Okay. and he was defeated by Benjamin Harrison in 1888. Oh, in, in, uh, yeah, 1888. Wow, so he then he ran again. Ran. He what? ran again this is in 1892, crazy. and uh, Adlai Stevenson was his vice president. There, there's got to be another Adlai Stevenson because I remember Adlai Stevenson in the 1900s. Uh, okay, how did he run? They must not have had that rule uh, set then. Because well, if if you had a time in between there, yeah. Yeah, well, no, I guess they didn't that's have why. It. That rule didn't go into effect until after Franklin Delano Roosevelt was elected. Oh, okay. That, that's when that went into effect. Okay. And he got killed. he got in, three. He got he? killed in 19, in, in the 40s. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that wasn't, that definitely wasn't in effect then. Harry S. Truman was president, and he was the one that dropped the atomic bomb, so mm-hmm. he was finishing out Roosevelt. And then Truman, no, Truman ran on his own. Yeah. And, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Statue of Liberty was dedicated in 1886. Oh. France gave us that. They sure did. Uh, that was a nice Liberty. gift from uh, France. <laughs> but everyone has to keep it up. I would say thank you in French, but I don't know how to say thank you in French. So, <laughs> Thank Boudin. you, France. <laughs> okay. Utah became the 45th state. The states are mm. getting added on pretty quickly because yeah. that's just three short of what the norm exactly. was for so long. For a long time. And this is 1886. Oh, well, yeah. So they're stacking fast. up very quickly. Definitely. Okay, he dodged the draft by hiring some. <laughs> I read, I, I read this, I read it twice. He dodged the draft purposely by hiring someone in his place. Wow, that's pretty smart. He and sent he somebody up. else to go, and somebody else went. How in the world did he become president then <laughs> after dodging the draft? And remember I said he was a bachelor, so he was the only president to get married while in office. Why not? Okay. Uh, His second child was the first child born in the White House. Oh, that's pretty cool. He had an artificial artificial jaw of vulcanized rubber. What the... Some funny things Man, you read lot. about this. That, that one was very interesting. Now I've got, I've been doing some tidbits. I, I can get past the fact that he, that he dodged the draft, but then later By on. Was, hiring somebody uh, yeah. to take his place. Looks and to me then like become president. That's very, that's very unusual. <laughs> I've been talking about some of the things that uh, reflects why we like westerns. Okay. Uh, there is a program on television. It's channel seventy five on my TV. Mm-hmm. It's grit. Yeah. Yeah, and I've watched that. Nothing but westerns. Nothing but westerns. That's that's all you see. Mm-hmm. And back many years ago, when I was a boy, and I got to go to the movies for eleven cents. Mm-hmm. Uh, you always had a western on Saturday. Right. Yeah. You had a matinee in the afternoon at 2 o'clock, and then you had the, the same movie over that night. Right. And uh, Westerns... The good old days. They were the big... The Western actors, they were they were idols. Mm-hmm. Every boy had to have a gun. Right. We even bought Paula pistols. In really? <laughs> uh, your, your Western stars... Uh, I can remember uh, before John Wayne mm-hmm. or Clint Eastwood, you had Roy Rogers and Gene Autry and Hopalong Cassidy. Mm. You had the Cisco Kid and you had Zorro and 
Uh, they were all famous, yeah. Yeah. And then, <laughs> then later on, you had the uh, uh, John Wayne and Clint Eastwood. Eastwood. Yeah. These are your newer. Right. Yeah. They they were never in the in the movie. They were never in the westerns that I got to see when I was born. No, no, that would have been much later. Uh, yeah. Okay, the Lone Ranger in Tonto. Now that's mm -hmm. another. The Lone Ranger was very popular. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. They were on the radio, and so. I remember I can remember hunkering down and listening to the Lone Ranger, <laughs> and. Uh, you would have the music in the background. Mm -hmm. Hi, old silver away. Oh yeah, I remember that part. Okay, they went on to films then, mm -hmm. and it became there. There was a a program that you had before the main feature. It was called a serial. Mm -hmm. It would be a continued story till next week. Oh, okay. and you would have uh, to be continued. The Phantom, and you had uh, uh, you had. Uh, what era is this from? Like the twenties, the thirties? Well, I wasn't born in the twenties. Well, I'm not. <laughs> had to be in the thirties. Okay. But anyway, they went into films, and then they made a, a serial, and and they got starring that, and then they got on TV, mm -hmm. and then comic books. Comic books uh, immortalized. Well, back them. then, yeah. Oh, let definitely. Me tell you. Uh, Zane Gray, the novels that Zane Gray wrote. Many of the movies that are being shown are, mm -hmm. um, they derive the story plot from Zane Gray's books that he wrote. Okay. He was, he, he was a so, Western writer. Okay. Oh. Uh, Clayton Moore was the Lone Ranger. Jay Silverheels was the Indian that played Tonto. He was real Indian. Oh, he was. Yeah, Jay Silverheels was his name. Cause a lot, a lot of times back then in the old, old western movies, you could tell that they they were not Indians at all. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and on television yeah. now, what, who played the uh, rifleman? Um, I'm not sure. But, I'm not sure. But he was a white man. But clearly a white man. But yeah. The other night he was on uh, television. He was Geronimo. Oh really? Yeah. And he looked. <laughs> they like did an that Indian. a lot. He looked yeah. like an Indian. But the thing about the westerns, mm -hmm. they did a good job of portraying the morally upright decisions. You, the cowboy didn't kiss a girl. He might right. kiss his horse, mm -hmm. but he didn't kiss a girl. You never heard cursing. Right. Everything was always morally upright, and they were heroes. Mm -hmm. uh, and the good guys always won. Right. Yeah. There would be the gunfight. There would be the uh, standoff, and and there would be the posse chase, and there would be the fight in the saloon. Mm -hmm. But always the good guy won. Yeah. Okay. So in the 30s and 50s, the singing cowboys came on the scene. That's Roy Rogers and Gene Autry. Okay. Gene Autry is the man that we uh, that I go that I remember that uh, sang Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, he was the one that made it, made it popular. Made that again. popular. And Gene Autry at one time owned the California Angels baseball team. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. And Gene Autry made over 90 films. And they wow. would, sometimes these films would be shot in two or three weeks. That is a very, that's a very uh, small time frame to, to shoot a movie. Yeah, but wow. and it probably didn't cost very much either. Probably not. <laughs> but I said he was a singing cowboy. Yeah. He sold over 100 million records. Whoa, dang. That's a lot. And That's then he was first, and then along came Roy Rogers, and okay. uh, then Tex Ritter, then Eddie Dean, and Rex Allen. Rex Allen was a pretty good singer. Which one of them had their uh, wife with them, I think? Was that was it? Roy Rogers. Okay. And her and name Dale, was Dale Evans. Dale Evans, Dale Evans yeah. yeah. And so she worked right in there just fine, and, and they yeah. made that work, but no other no other cowboy had a wife. No other On cowboy the had a girl. Yeah. Right. Okay, then Stagecoach hit in Stagecoach hit in 1939. Okay. Very popular. John Ford was the one that uh, he was the started one that, that. John Ford was the one that discovered uh, 
John Wayne. Really? His name was Marion Morrison. Oh yeah, that was John Wayne's Remember real I told name. You, I told yeah. That. And he was just working on the set of a movie. And that's how he 20 got. Twenty years old, and John Ford just saw him and and <laughs> tapped him on the shoulder and said, "Would you like to be a star as a cowboy?" And wow. He said, well, yeah. And he said, "Well, Marion Morrison won't cut it. I'm going to call you John Wayne." <laughs> oh, I think you made the right decision there. I do. <laughs> okay. This became the Western movie that eclipsed all that had ever been done before. Mm -hmm. uh, then in the 50s, the Indians got recognition. They started playing, uh, giving them some time slots in with the movies and how that they, pro they presented a formidable foe for the Western movement going West because so the Indians were, were already there. Well, so they would play like the villains? Yeah. The, okay. Uh, well, naturally, well, because they didn't, want you, they didn't want you there. Right. Uh, Comanche Territory hit in 1950. Mm -hmm. uh, Apache hit in 1954. White Feather hit in 1955. And, they, and on and on. And then Dancing with Wolves was in 1990. That's one of the most oh, that, famous of all the Western movies. Probably the most, uh, yeah, probably one of the most recent. Then Jimmy Stewart. Jimmy Stewart was a character actor and a good actor, mm -hmm. but by golly, he decided to try his hand as a cowboy, and he uh, he hit, uh, he made it uh, made a success out of it. He did Winchester in 1950, Bend of the River in 52, Naked Spur in 53, and The Far Country in 1954. So he liked the atmosphere of being in the Western and being a hero, being a cowboy. Oh, yeah, I'd say and so. And some of the reruns that we have today, Jimmy Stewart is there. Mm -hmm. Then the castle classics came along, The Gunfighter, Gregory Peck and Alan Ladd in 1953, Shane. I, I, will, uh, I will never forget Shane. Alan yeah, Ladd, that was a very popular movie, Alan wasn't Ladd it? was a handsome dude, let me mm -hmm. tell you. And you'll even see Alan Ladd once in a while in in a rerun. Yeah, uh, yeah, all these movies come on. There's literally a a channel that's dedicated to westerns. Oh yeah, okay. The then channel. in 1956, Randolph Scott came on the scene, mm -hmm. and uh, he's out there with John Wayne. But Randolph Scott was more in the B grade movies. But nowadays, on this grit, uh, Randolph Scott's there just as much as anybody. But a lot of these were B grades. Right. Uh, then uh, Western take over TV in 1958. The Westerns just seemed to flood. Uh, these, they had been on radio. That was like their heyday. Yeah, they, they had been on radio, and so they just transferred them from radio over to television. Right. The Rifleman and the Life and Legend of White Earth Different mm -hmm. different men have played wider. Different men have played Billy the Kid. Yeah. Uh, but some of the B movies that we had that we got to see here, uh, Ken Maynard, Bob Steele, Hoot Gibson, Johnny Mac Brown. Johnny Mac Brown was pretty Did popular. You say Hoot Gibson. Hoot Gibson. <laughs> what a name. Don Redberry. I remember Don Redberry. Alan Rocky Lane. Lash Larue. And I've uh, heard that name. Uh, Wild Bill Hickok, Tim Holt. Oh, yeah, that heard that. Wild These Bill. are just some of the ones that I remember. That's a lot, though. About but I mean, Western. that's so. When were the? When was the heyday? I guess you could say for westerns, the uh, 30s well, through the. No, probably. Well, television really helped out in the fifties, but in the movies, probably the late thirties and forties and early fifties. Yeah, that's when it really got popular. Uh, I want you to listen to this crypto quote I worked. Grandchildren mm -hmm. don't make a man feel old. Mm -hmm. It's the knowledge that he's married to grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote that now? Or I, it didn't say? Get the, okay. I didn't get the name worked out. Okay. And the reason I'm giving Chattanooga's biggest banks, there's 10 of them, but I have a reason for including this as part of the program today. Listen, mm -hmm. these, these are the largest banks in Hampton County and in surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. First Horizon is number one. 
Truist Bank. Never heard of it. Regions Bank. I've heard of Regions yeah, Bank. Yeah. Pinnacle Bank. Never heard of it. First Bank. I've heard of that. Bank of America. I've heard of never that. Never heard of that one. First Volunteer. I've heard of that. Yeah. But number eight, Citizens Tri-County Bank. Really? They're number eight in the Chattanooga area. And, of course, uh, they have probably 15 banks or more, but they're located like one in Pikeville, and you have one in Grundy County, and one. They're yeah. just scattered everywhere. All over the valley. Smart yeah, Bank is number mountain, nine, and Bank of Lafayette is number 10. The Bank of Lafayette. Are we talking about Lafayette, Georgia? <laughs> I'd say Tennessee. Oh, there, yeah, that's right. There's a Lafayette, Tennessee, aren't there? Have you heard of Jerry Seinfeld? Oh, yeah. I yeah. cut this article Most out about... Most people have. Uh, I, I cut this article about Jerry Seinfeld. He recently wrote an autobiography. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, he got he turned 65 about a month ago. Okay. And he thought, well, gee, I'm, I'm just about done here. I think I should leave something behind for people, something different. So he, he he wrote his autobiography, and the name of it is, Is This Anything? I don't know why the world he came up with that. What, what a name. I don't know why, but, <laughs> but Jerry Seinfeld is left-handed. Okay, and, I am too. Uh, well, actually, I, just, I write left-handed, Papa, but I don't, everything else is right-handed. I don't understand that, but it's, it's the truth. Well, now listen to what he says. <laughs> This is what he says. This okay. is this is the first joke that he ever told. Really? Stand up joke. So I'm left handed. Mm hmm Left handed people do not like that word left <laughs> is so often associated with negative things. Oh well yeah. Left feet. Yeah. Left handed <laughs> compliment. <laughs> what are we having for dinner? Leftovers. <laughs> You go to a party, there's nobody there. Where did everybody go? They left. Right. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but uh, there, his program, the sitcom, ran from 89 to 98. Oh, okay. Well yeah, watched. It was, well yeah, it was watched uh, right. nine seasons. Obviously, it could have went on as long as they wanted it to because it was still very highly rated, but... You know, they chose to uh, end it that night, the final I, season. I would, I would think from the times that I got to watch it, Seinfeld was one of those people that was able to blend in with the talent that he had. Yeah. He had superior talent to himself. Yeah. But he was a stabilizing force. Everybody uh, motivated and moved around him. He was the true. he was the hub that kept everybody moving. Yeah, that is true. And every person, each person mm -hmm. in their own right, could have been a star. Oh yeah, and uh, that woman. A lot of I mean, woman, Julia Lewis Dreyfus has Dreyfus, she has become a star. Yeah, she is. She was something else. I'm telling She's you, she's very talented. You know, she could do it. But then she got her own show. Kramer uh, later on. Kramer um, was silly as he could be. But, oh yeah. But you see, they're had they. He does stand up comedy though now. Yeah, he does, does a lot of that. Yeah. But each person, the writers are the one that did it, of course. Each mm -hmm. person was able to carry out their part of the program, and it oh, all blended yeah. into a a good story. Yeah, they had great chemistry. Henny Youngman said this. This is the best celebrity cipher. Okay. I told the doctor I broke my leg in two places. Mm -hmm. The doctor told me to quit going to those places. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well, let's tell uh, two jokes and we'll uh, All right. call it a day. <laughs> pretty day Let out there, see. day, isn't it, Papa? It is pretty. It is very pretty. I wish it was this temperature year-round. Don't you? Well, yeah, a, if you had a nice. choice. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I had a choice, that's what I'd want it to be. For sure. There was a man who owned a giant gorilla, and all his life he had never left it on its own. Mm -hmm. But there came a time that he needed to go on a business trip and had to leave his gorilla in his next-door neighbor's care. <laughs> so he explained to his neighbor. That all he had to do was feed his gorilla three bananas a day, 
Really? That's it? At three, six, and, and nine. nine. <laughs> but he was never, ever to touch the fur on that gorilla. Okay. Probably the following a day, the man came and gave the gorilla a banana and studied mm -hmm. it, thinking, why can't I touch its fur? That made me think of Eve. Why can't I eat that apple? Yeah, yeah. As there didn't seem to be anything wrong with the fur on the gorilla. Mm -hmm. But every day he came in and looked for a little while longer and still couldn't understand until after about a week, he'd worked himself into a frenzy and decided that he was going to touch that gorilla. <laughs> so he passed, crazy he passed it the banana and very gently rubbed the back of his hand Whoa. against oh. the fur. Suddenly, the gorilla went wild <laughs> and started to jump around. It then turned and began running toward the man, <laughs> who in turn ran through the door, I'm sure. over the lawn, down the street, into his car, and drove off. In the rearview mirror, he could see the gorilla keeping pace, Dang. lumbering right behind this him. Fast gorilla. He drove until the engine began to sputter and the car just stopped. <laughs> he jumped out and began to run down the street, over a brick wall, into someone's front garden, and up the apple tree. <laughs> he turned around to find the gorilla right behind him, Dang. beating its chest. <laughs> the man jumped down and ran back into the street, screaming until it became dark and he thought he'd lost the gorilla. The that man the ran into an gorilla. alley, then suddenly he saw a giant shadow coming down the street uh -oh. ahead. The gorilla, it came to the end of the alley, stood and looked straight into the bloodshot eyes of the man and came toward him slowly. This time there was no escape. Nowhere to run. Uh, uh, oh! As the gorilla neared him, the man the man began to feel faint. <laughs> the giant beast came face to face with him, raised its mighty hand, and said, "Tag, you're it." Tag, <laughs> <laughs> God! Oh my gosh! I thought he was going to do something really bad to me. Tag, you're it. <laughs> Don't you ever touch that gorilla's fur? Oh, that's fun. That's a good one to end it on, actually. Paul we'll just, we'll gonna just hard, stop right there. It's going to be hard to top that one. I just kept waiting, waiting, waiting <laughs> for the punch line and <laughs> tag her <in. laughs> Well, that's it for uh, this edition of the Albert and Billy Show. Thanks for listening here on WUAT Radio. And thanks for watching on Channel 18 Valley TV. Yes. And YouTube. And, and also Facebook. Uh, I think I got everybody on that one. I'm pretty sure. So uh, thanks for watching and listening, guys. And we'll see you next week. Bye, folks. Brought to you by Bledsoe Telephone Cooperative, your full-service telecommunications provider right here in the Sequatchie Valley.